Hi there, Chris here. <laughs> and Suki. Um, when I was growing up, um, just a kid, I can remember my mom would, uh, if she had some, some bad news to share, she would always say, oh, I have some sad news to tell you. And that was always the preface for someone had passed. And uh, so I, I say to you guys this morning, um, I have some sad news. A wonderful member of our uh, Walksport community, King Street Rob, has passed. I just heard of this um, this morning. And I wanted to, I wanted to just share <laughs> a bit of, of my memories uh, about King Street Rob. Um, he, uh, he was one of the early, early members of the Lock Force, um, SC Lock and Key, Saturday Lives, even before there was, you know, a consistent Saturday Live. Uh, he was also, um, actually I, I was, became aware of, of King Street on um, Murlocs channel. And they were great friends. And uh, they were great friends. And the first couple of times I read King Street's uh, comments to uh, Murloc, I thought, geez, he's really being rough on him. But I came to realize that um, <laughs> through the banter of the comments back and forth from Murloc and uh, King Street, that what they really represented was a uh, a lot of love and respect for each other, for their skills and their knowledge. And uh, King Street had a, a great deal of, of knowledge of locks and, and being a uh, locksmith in the Toronto area for 40 plus years. So uh, eventually <laughs> I got some of those, those biting comments and was very proud to receive them. Anyway, uh, a little, little story about uh, some of my interaction with King Street Rob. Over about a year and a half ago, I can't remember exactly, I uh, got a few of these Schlage locks and they're, they had, you can put interchangeable cores in them and they're really a handsome lock. And um, I did a video on on this this lock. I can't remember what core I had in it, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, the this this lock caught King Street's caught Rob's eye, and he commented on it. And um, I said, "Well, you know, I'd be happy to send you a couple if you, you know whatever." And he said, "You God, that would be great." So. I got a few and sent them off to Canada. It's, you know, <laughs> uh, the exchange rate for them to buy locks in the US on eBay is, it's really tough. Also, a lot of eBay sellers won't, um, don't want to send to Canada. So, you know, <laughs> they'll put a really high price on the shipping and all that. So anyway, I was happy to get him a, a couple of these these cores or these these um padlocks or that core i said you want cores he says no i got tons of cores to put in them okay so i sent him off and he got him he was very he was very grateful and thanked me uh he did a packaging uh package opening and talked about him and so that's my little king street rob story um he will be, he will be definitely missed, and, um, but not forgotten. Um, SC Lock and Key Saturday Live this coming Saturday will, will do a um, 
their regular Saturday Live, and that will be dedicated to Rob. Um, so if you're if you check if if you check in with them, um, go check in and say hey and and tell a Rob story. Um, also, Murloc Murloc sixty eight did a video this morning, and uh, I want to thank I want I want to thank Jason and SC Lock and Key. He did um, he did a video about King Street, and he was informed by King Street's good friend and caregiver that um, King Street had passed. And my heart goes out to to all of us, uh, Rob's family, and certainly his his friend and caregiver for for letting us know. Uh, he will definitely be missed, but he will not be forgotten. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, we forget, maybe sometimes we forget how many lives our lives touch and, and how that, you know, especially in this community, how, how close we are and uh, caring we are. And um, Rob would, would end his videos with take care of, take care of yourself and definitely take care of each other. So I'm going to, I'll end it right there and uh, say thanks for watching. Definitely take care of yourself and take care of each other.